Now in this video, we're going to break down and talk about the anatomy of an HTTP POST request. Now when we were on the Sheets DB API page, we, we pull, I pulled off this code. And this is a long URL, and it looks familiar. It starts with HTTPS, and I have to admit, it's a little overwhelming when you first glance at it because we haven't really broken it down. But each element uh, represents a piece of information that we're sending or associated with our API. So let's, let's break it down. So the whole thing is an HTTPS. This is a URL. It's a, it's a web URL. So just like any website we go to, um, this is going to direct us to a place on the web. And where it's directing us is to sheetsdb.io, right? That's where we set up our API. And it's giving a little bit more information. But this here, this is our API key. So if you were to enter in uh, an HTTP POST request, you wouldn't put my numbers that you see here. This, this, these, these introduce uh, information into my Google Sheets. You want to add your API key that you found uh, when you created your API. That would go there. The next thing we see is this uh, dash D that stands for data type. You would then tell it what type of data you're sending. Now we're sending JSON data. The next part of this, um, you'll see this is the data that we're actually sending. Okay, so here it's telling us this is the data. Um, and if you look, these are our columns, right? I did change this off the API, so it made sense to us. So low is one of my columns. High is one of my columns. And then the next thing we see is that these values, 72 and 127, this is the data that we are going to send and insert into the sheet. So what's happening is this uh, URL is going to insert, um, it's going to insert into the column low, a number 72, into the column high, a number 127. Now I could just send this, uh, put it in a browser uh, and, and hit send. And what it would do is it would actually um, send this data and insert this into my spreadsheet. Now this, if I were to do that, that'd be called hard coding because I'm giving it this hard value of 72 and this hard value of 127. We don't actually want to hard code it. We want to put into here and here into these values, we want to send the values that come from our text input box in our app. So for us, these are the values we're going to save. It changes with our user input. We're not going to hard code this, but we're going to set it up in Thunkable so that those values are going to be pushed into that slot of, of this URL. And that is how we're going to create a HTTP post request to add a row and uh, insert data into our Google Sheets using the Sheets API. Now in our next video, we're gonna break down how do we make this happen in Thunkable.